Are you looking for a stream deck that is affordable and can help you be more productive? Or maybe it just looks really cool. We're gonna go over this here today. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it. And today we're going over the Yolanzi D200 Stream Deck. And when you take it out of the box, you will see it's made very well. It's made with nice hard buttons and plastic. And it includes a stand that angles towards you. And it also includes a USB-C to USB-A cable. There is software that you install. And once you do, you can program the buttons and really the possibilities are endless on what you can do to save time, improve productivity, or honestly, just look cool. <laughs> there is a large button in the front that you can't really fully customize, but you can choose whether you want it to show the time and date, or even the CPU, RAM, and GPU usage. If you wanted to, you could also modify the buttons to be just like a regular desktop background, or like, you know, like a logo on the button itself. Once again, going back to that, it just looks cool. There's a number of different plugin, software, profile, and icons that you can download right on the Yulanzi Deck software to fully customize your experience. And Yulanzi says they are constantly adding new things upon demand. At the end of the video, I will also show you how to quickly make your own icons to help you customize it to your needs and give you a template which is also included in the description, so stay tuned. You can of course with OBS start streaming and change camera angles, transitions, and all the fun stuff, but I don't personally use OBS, I use Ecamm Live, and I do plan to make a separate video all about the shortcuts that I program for the D200 Stream Deck, but for me, I use this as a counter, a countdown, audio sound effect buttons, you know, streaming in Ecamm, Final Cut Pro editing, computer shortcuts, and I even have my YouTube subscription number. So today, I'm gonna show you the main ways that I use this in my daily usage. I got this main default profile here for screenshot or screen recording, which makes my life way easier when sharing things from my YouTube channel or a quick stream capture for a friend. And on the main page, it also has a play and stop button. So whether I'm watching YouTube, my favorite streaming platform, or a video on my computer, I can pause the video with these buttons. And then you have the apps button. And I have quick shortcut for apps that I use regularly. I have one set for the Yolanzi Deck software. I have one for Chrome, Mail, and my messaging app. I also have a quick access to my calculator app, notes, chat GBT, and of course, YouTube video and photo editing apps like Ecamm Live, Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, Luminar Neo, and Photoshop. And I can then click on the arrow back to the main page and click links on the folder which has all my internet shortcuts for sites that I visit on the regular like YouTube, Amazon, b &H Photo, Google Drive, my social media page, my banking. The possibilities vary for whatever you want quick access to and I gotta say using this just makes it a lot easier and nicer for sites that I visit on the regular. And as you can see I quickly customized the icons so it's customized for my look and my usage. And when you go back to the main screen, I have an emojis folder for quick access, emojis that I use on the regular. This beats having to scroll through and find them when I want to use them for YouTube or social media comments and when I'm writing YouTube descriptions. I also have a section for copy and paste, and this really is great, so great. But this is where you can make your own things that you find and type out regularly, whether for custom email to clients or to brands, or maybe you're in IT and you always type out the same notes for various help tickets, or maybe it's just a link that you share on the regular. You can create a simple text box for each one and have quick access to paste it all in one button. Just drag the text box over here, title it, type out what you want, paste, and then just save the template 
as it's always there right for you. You even have a custom icon for it so you know what it is and you can label them on the screen, just like all the other buttons on here. I have a button to also switch between profiles to make it easy for me to switch between Final Cut Pro shortcuts for editing, for quick blade tool, skimming the playhead, snapping to the grid, play and stop. It just makes my life easier while I'm editing in Final Cut. And if I ever wanted to add another shortcut that I use regularly to Final Cut, it's quite easy to do as well. I also have a custom profile for Lightroom, Photoshop, and Mac OS shortcuts as well. But lastly, like I said, I would show you how to create these icons. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've tried to make custom lighting cues for the Amaran app. However, based on how the app works, there's not really a way for me to assign a shortcut key to certain lighting commands on the Amaran app. And Amaran would make their own profile like they do for the Elgato Stream Deck. I have put this suggestion into Amaran and they said they would pass it along. However, for other things you might want to customize, here is the easiest way I've found to do so, and I've included a Canva template for the Amaran ones I've created, as well as a lot of the ones I'm talking about here today in the description of the video. So the basic idea for creating the icons is to make a square so that you, so I go into Canva and I create a 10 by 10 design. Then design it the way you want it to. Add text if you want to, or just add text later in the Yolanzi deck software. Add your artwork you choose, and then export it as a .png with a transparent background. I drop it into the folder that's in the same place as all my other icons that I make, just to make it simpler, but you do you. And then I click the button I want to change, and just drag the image onto it, or you can just double click on the image and select whatever icon you want. It's really that simple and easy to customize. And like I said, I left my Canva template in the description of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna pick up one, please use the links below in the video to support the channel. I would really appreciate it. You know, like, subscribe, do all those fun youtube -y things, and you guys know that I will see you in the future.